Hey guys, what's up? Um, back with another video. This time we're going to do my AEW Double or Nothing 2022 predictions. Uh, it's that time of the year, it's that time of the month again. I mean, that time of the uh, schedule again when AEW does their four pay views a year. And uh, this is going to be one of them. This is going to be Double or Nothing. Uh, looking forward to the card. It's 11 matches at the moment. And uh, let's get on with this, shall we? On the pre show. We have uh, the tag team, uh, on the buying show, we have uh, the tag team of Danhausen and Hook, better known as Hookhausen, taking on Tony Nese and Mark Sterling. Uh, this is easy, uh, Hookhausen, how uh, Hookhausen going to win, and uh, yeah, no, nothing really to say on this one, I think Hookhausen going to win, that's it. Uh, in the next match, we have the Women's TBS Championship, I almost forgot what championship it was for a moment. Uh, it's Jade Cargill defending the championship against Anna J. Uh, this is gonna be good. I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I think Jade's gonna win. You know, I don't. This is this has kind of been a uh, thrown together uh, match for the pay per view, uh, and I don't see Jade losing. So um, yeah, Jade Cargill to retain on that one. The next match we have the men's. Final of the Owen Hart Foundation tournament. We have uh, the Samoan Submission Machine, the Ring of Honor Television Champion Samoa Joe, battling, well, Adam Cole, baby. I was trying to think of a nickname for him, and I just realized he doesn't really have nicknames, does he, Adam Cole? I mean, you could call him sexy if you want to. Uh, you could call him whatever you want. He's Adam Cole, baby. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there. That, you know, will give Adam Cole a couple of nicknames. Maybe leave your Adam Cole nickname in the suggestions in the in the in the comment section. Maybe who knows? Anyway, back to business. We have Small Joe versus Adam Cole in the finals of the men's uh, Owen Hart Foundation tournament. Um, I got Samoa Joe in this one. Uh, no real reason. It was kind of a pick 'em, but I feel like Samoa Joe will win. Uh, it'd be a nice, you know, be a nice, uh, the first ever Owen Hart Foundation tournament winner. I think it'd be a nice, um, win for the babyface to get it to win over the heel, supposedly. And, uh, Small Joe. And, uh, look forward to Adam Cole trying to, trying to solve the Small Joe puzzle after, uh, their little run in in NXT last year when uh, uh, Small Joe was brought back as the special enforcer to William Regal as the general manager. And uh, he choked out Adam Cole on his first night. So looking forward to Adam Cole and Small Joe getting a little bit physical. A uh, little, little bit of a small thing there. A little bit of a small thing. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, next match is a... This is one that kind of could come back to bite me in the ass, if you know what I mean. It's the women's final of the Owen Hart Foundation tournament. We know that uh, we are, we know as 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 of last as of last night uh, it will be Dr. Britt Baker in the final, but it will be either against Ruby Soho or Chris Statlander. So because Rampage is live this Friday, not taped, um, I don't really know who the opponent's going to be. Uh, I have a feeling who I know it's going to be, so I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to kind of save my ass a little bit. A little bit. I'm going to uh, go for Chris Statlander or Ruby Soho. So I think it would be either of the two baby faces to, uh, to either one of those two to win the the cup on uh, Sunday, Sunday night. There you go. Uh, next match we have the uh, the AEW Women's Championship on the line. We have the champion Thunder Rosa taking on. The challenger Serena Deeb. Um, this should be a fun match. Looking forward to it, of course. Um, I think Thunder Rose is going to retain. Uh, I don't think nothing against Serena Deeb. She's pretty cool, but I don't see her as a threat to Thunder Rose's title. I think it'll be a great match, but I don't see any title changes that coming anytime soon. Woo! Anyway, moving on. We have uh, Jurassic Express. Oh, hello, jo uh, Luchasaurus. How are you doing there, pal? <laughs> Let's put that in there. 
We have a Jurassic Express um, taking on Keith Lee and Swerve Scott. Taking, uh, not Swerve Scott. Jesus Christ, it's his W name. Swerve Strickland. So, Jurassic Express versus uh, Swerve Strickland and Keith Lee versus Team Taz of Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Stark for the uh, AEW Tag Team titles. Uh, this, again, is going to be pretty cool. But, um... I'm a, uh, I think uh, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, Jurassic Express are going to win. Um, I don't, I see them losing the title soon, but I don't think it will be on this pay per view. Uh, I see Christian, tu- I can see Christian turning heel at some point and uh, turning on the Jungle Boy after what happened last year, at double or nothing with the Battle Royal. Um, because he's been kind of teasing it a little bit, but uh, I don't think it's going to be here. I think they're going to retain, and uh, yeah. I think uh, Jurassic is supposed to be retained. The next matchup we have uh, Chris Jericho's Jericho Appreciation Society. The Jericho Appreciation Society of uh, it's Jericho's Appreciation Society versus Eddie Kingston, Santana and Ortiz, and the. Uh, uh, the Blackpool Combat Club of Brian Danielson and John Moxley. Uh, I have Jericho's Appreciation Society. I know, Santana and Ortiz are going to be very angry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got the Jericho Appreciation Society. Um, I feel like this isn't the end of the feud. I feel like it's only the beginning of this, of these, you know, these, this, these ten men going at each other. So I feel like, uh, it's going to lead to blood and guts on, like, a, a special di- dynamite episode or something. And then that's also when the, the Kingston's group will get the will get the revenge on Jericho's uh, Appreciation Society. But for now, uh, Jericho Appreciation Society for the win, and uh, yeah, so on and so on. Next match we have the match that has very has been very anticipated. Uh, you know, ever since uh, uh, it was supposed to happen, I think at Revolution, but then Phoenix got hurt. So uh, it's going to happen here. We have the House of Black of Buddy Matthews, Malachi Black, and Brody King taking on uh, Penta, the Death Triangle, basically, of Penta, Pac, and uh, Phoenix. Um, looking forward to this match. Oh, man, it's going, to be, it's going to be crazy on Sunday. It's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, but I have the Death Triangle in this one. I think um, House of Black have won a lot of the matches against you know, I know they beat uh, Pac, Penta, and uh, Eric Redbeard at the Revolution pre- uh, buy-in show, and they've been winning a lot recently. And they've been winning a lot with the with the Mist. So I feel like uh, Death, this is this time for Death Triangle to win. But I could totally see House of Black winning again, and then leading to another match um, somewhere on like a, a special Dynamite or something, with, you know, to really blow off the feud. But to me personally. I would like to. I would like it to to culminate at the pay per view because that's what pay per views are for. You know, you know. Sometimes, most of the time, especially when you got four pay per views a year, um, you would really think that they should, they, you know, they should uh, culminate the feud at the pay per view. Well, I guess we'll see. So I got Death Triangle for that one. Next match we have the Dream Match, as they call it. It's the Elite versus Delete. Delete! Wonderful, yes. We have um, the Hardys of Jeff and Matt Hardy versus the Young Bucks of Matt and Nick Jackson. Uh, I don't know why I'm telling you that. If you're watching an AEW thingy, you probably would have known. You probably would know the uh, individuals involved. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I've got the Young Bucks to win here. Um, it's a pick'em. It was a very. It was a. It was a. It, this could this could go either way, in my opinion. Uh, I, so I just decided to go for the Young Bucks because the, the heel getting the win, and uh, you know you can run this match back. I think the last time they fought was a Super Card of Honor, uh, 2017 in the ladder match, um, and the Young Bucks won that one because Jeff and Matt went back to WWE like the very next night at WrestleMania 33. So. Um, yeah, I feel like um, the Young Bucks are going to win this one, and. Uh, We'll go from there, right? I have no idea where they'll go from there, but we'll go from there. Uh, anyway, next match. Where the fuck is he? 
Anyway, next match we have Wardlow versus NVF. MGF is always fashionably late, isn't he? We have MGF versus Wardlow. Uh, sorry about the. Sorry for that. I, I wanted to do the uh, the figures. I wanted to display the figures, but uh, thing. It didn't go very well because I couldn't fucking find them because the box. I couldn't find them in the fucking box. Anyway, uh, Wardlow uh, versus MGF. Uh, where the stipulation is, if Wardlow wins, he he is he is officially free from MGF's contract. But if he loses, he can never sign for AEW uh, ever again. And with the stipulation, it kind of makes it pretty obvious because AEW don't really go back on stipulations. Like, you know, that's why I think that's why Cody left the company. Because Cody put that damn stipulation on in the, at Full Gear 2019. And uh, yeah, now he's, now he's yeah, and he couldn't compete for the world title. And they weren't going to go back on stipulations. So... Oops, there you go, American Nightmare. Oh, it's all right, though. It's all right, though. He's got the Cody countdown, uh, countdown clock on there. <laughs> anyway, let's say about Cody, let's say about Cody on there. Let's save Cody for next weekend, the uh, Hell in the Cell weekend. Anyway, uh, World Love with MGF. Uh, I think the stipulation makes it pretty easy on this one. Um, I got the big guy, Wardlow. I think Wardlow's going to win. Uh, it'll be MGF's second pay-per-view straight loss as he lost to CM Punk at Revolution, so... I think MGF can... I, I don't think MGF will be hurt too much by losing to Wardlow. Um, Wardlow's on fire at the moment, and I hope he improves. I hope he continues to be impressive. And, uh, yeah, I think Wardlow's going to, you know, powerbomb Symphony on uh, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. So, uh, yeah. So, the big guy. I got the big guy Wardlow to win. And then the main event... Uh oh, well, Punk's not here. Hi, <laughs> man, come here, you fucker. Oh, he is. Oh, it's Jericho, fuck! Fuck! Ah, fuck it. <laughs> we have the main event, we have uh, Hangman Page versus uh, CM Punk for the AEW World Championship. Hangman defending the title against CM Punk. Uh, I have uh, Hangman, Hangman on this one. Uh, I think Hangman's going to retain. Um, since this match was announced, I've been going back and forth each week. Um, but I feel like it would mean more for Hangman to beat CM Punk. Like I know Punk's probably going to end up with the title at some point, but I don't think it needs to be his first opportunity at the world title. Um if Punk wins on Sunday, I'll be very happy because, you know, I'm, I like CM Punk. But I'm going for Hangman to retain because I feel like there's a little bit more... There's a little bit more room. There's a little bit more... I'd like Hangman to have the title a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Um, but, yeah, uh, if, it ha- if it ends on Sunday, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be happy either way. But, uh, yeah, I've got Hangman to retain. Uh, anyway, there you go, guys. There's my AEW Double or Nothing predictions. Let me know who you got in the comments, um, who you're going for, what your predictions are on Sunday. And uh, let's have fun with this one, shall we? And um, there you go, guys. That's it. That's it for now. Enjoy your day. Uh, hope you enjoy the predictions. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell me tell me how much I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, peace out, guys. Uh, enjoy your day. Um, stay safe. And uh, enjoy the show on Sunday. Have a nice day.